today we're gonna show you the steps in troubleshooting network using working command line utilities now we'll go to command prompt command prompt is a non-graphical interface that allows you to interact with your operating system at the command prompt you enter commands by typing their names followed by options and arguments GUI or the in graphical user interface allows users to more intuitively access programs and documents however some programs and commands are still only available through a command prompt. Now we will show you one example of a command line utility, the IP config. IP config shows the status of a networking media or the NIC, including the following data, the IP address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. But if you really don't know the options you can get in ipconfig, you can ask for help by typing ipconfig backslash question mark, then enter. In here you can see all the options you can ask. The first option is the slash question mark. Display this help message. Backslash all. Display full configuration information. Backslash release. Release the IP address for the specified adapter. Backslash renew. Renew the IP address for the specified adapter. Backslash flash DNS. Purchase the DNS resolver cache. Backslash register DNS. Refreshes all DHCP releases and registers DNS names. Backslash display DNS. Display the contents of the DNS resolver cache. Backslash show class ID. Displays all the DHCP class IDs allows for adapter. Backslash class ID. Modifies the DHCP class ID. The second example of a command line utility is the ping. The ping is the primary network troubleshooting facility. It tests connectivity to other hosts by sending echo pa request packets. This also shows the round trip times of the echo reply. If you want to know more about the option of ping, just type ping then enter. Like in the IP config, you can see the options below it. There are a lot to ping. One example is the loopback address. To do it, just type ping, then the loopback address 127.0.0.1. Loopback address is a special IP number. It is only limited at 127.255.255.254 to 127.0.0.1. That is designated for the software loopback interface of the machine. The loopback interface has no hardware associated with it, and it is not connected to a network. The loopback interface allows IT professionals to test IT software without worrying about broken and corrupted drivers or hardware. Enter. There you can see the replies of the loopback address, the bytes, and the time. The other example to be ping, like the FQDN or fully qualified domain name, your neighbor's IP address, DNS server, and default gateway have the same results or display but different output. Let's type or ping a fully qualified domain name like Yahoo. Type P, then www.yahoo.com, then enter. As you can see, we have the same display but different output. Then we'll proceed in pinging a DNS server. 
ping adina server type ping space 58.69.254.5 then enter as you can see the result is a timeout or an RTO. If an RTO occurs, it does not mean that the other host is down. Now, let's proceed to the third type of aid working command line utility, the ARP. To know the different options using ARP, just type ARP, then enter. As you can see, there are a lot of options. Let's focus to the option which is type A or negative A by typing R negative A. As you can see, it allows one to view existing ARP table and configure them accordingly. We can see the internet address, the physical address, and the type. And now let's proceed to the last networking command line utility, the tracer. It stands for traceroute, allows one to send packets to other hosts and measure latency and speed of each every route, router or server along the way. To know the options, let's type tracer, then enter. As you can see, you can saw the options below the Tracer. Then let's proceed in an example. Let's type tracer and add in a server or 192.168.1.1. There you can see the hubs of the DNS server. Then let's type tracer again and a fully qualified domain or www.yahoo.com. Then enter. As you can see, we can see the IP address of the Yahoo which is located at the below the tracer the trace is complete And that would be the end of our discussion and you can exit or close the command prompt by typing exit.